think this is a perfect time to take a step back now as a patient, take out COVID-19 and all that, but just in general, as a patient with a new set of eyes looking at your practice, right? So when you're standing outside of your office, when was the last time you actually looked at the windows and what you have in the windows? And I'm not picking on any particular offices by, by any means, but I pass offices all the time in Southern California that are in strip malls like this that have old faded posters in the window. They have bugs behind the poster in the window. I'm sure you guys could add to this list. They have, you know, they're, um, they've got every policy ever written taped up in their window. Um, their, their address or their sticky things are coming off. It just looks bad. Like if I were to go like this and look in the window, what is the practice image telling me from the road, right? Look around your property, um, landscaping. Uh, nobody's been there maybe in weeks, so trash. Um, could you repaint the, the lines for parking? Um, could you fix some of the signs? Like there's a lot of stuff that we could look at from the outside perspective of our practice and say, well, what is this practice saying about us before the patient even comes in or when they drive by, okay? Then walk into the practice and look around. Like a, a big example that I talk about all the time is uh, the clutter. We don't see clutter. It's kind of like your house. You don't see clutter until it's time to have somebody over. And then all of a sudden you want to get everything off your countertops and everything picked up off the table and everything, you know, put away. That's how our offices should look all the time. So walk into your office with the perspective of a patient and look at the walls, look at the chairs, look at the, the, the you know, the front desk, look at the operatories. We don't, we get so busy during our regular lives that we don't see what this looks like and how much we have up. We have five different toothbrushes we're selling and, and we have all this financing paperwork and brochures. I'm not saying we shouldn't sell the toothbrushes. I'm not saying we shouldn't have the brochures, but do they all need to be out? Do they all need to be out in the reception area? Do they all need to be on the operatory counters? Look at your desks. Look at, like, this is an example of a desk. If I was a patient and I walked up to the person sitting at this desk and I wanted to have them do something and like follow up with my insurance or, or find something out and let me know, would I trust that this person has good control of their surroundings? Are they gonna do what I asked them to do? Am I gonna second guess all the sticky notes and the mess and the clutter? Maybe it's the most organized person in the world, but that desk does not reflect that. So walk around your office or maybe take somebody who's got an outside perspective or do a video, right? I'm gonna show you Andrea Greer, who's a great person. You could send her a video and she can give you guidance on things that should be updated and cleaned up. A lot of this stuff, we don't need to have 16, you know, pens right here. We don't need to have three pair of scissors. We don't need to have all this right here. We have drawers, we have files. We have ways to clean the clutter. And that's really what I would suggest we start looking at now is what does this impression give our patients? And it's a perfect time to get organized, to get cleaned up and to get the clutter taken care of.